Hey 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 hello everyone welcome to my channel relationship stories today one person is asking us am i an idiot for thinking that my bridesmaid owes me for upstaging and ruining my 30k plus wedding but before we give our judgment let's hear the story from her side my now husband and i got married one and a half months ago we had six people on each side of the bridal party this wedding took three full days to plan and prepare for When I got engaged most of the bridesmaids were very single including Anna the star of the story two of them were in long term relationships i wanted to just give the two partner to bridesmaids plus ones anna seemed offended by this because my wedding was then years off and she was actually dating her now husband at the time thought it was casual at the time though i eventually got pushed by my mother to give all of them plus ones Anna actually continued to date that guy and married him 4 months before my wedding at 2 months pregnant. She brought her new husband as her plus one, who I never met prior to this, and convinced one of other bridesmaids to take her friend as hers. She knew we didn't like him. She was hugely pregnant and did not refrain from showing it off. We are both fairly young, 25, and in my husband's culture, getting pregnant before late 20s or 30s, married or not, is basically a teenage pregnancy and drew a lot of attention. She also has a vibrant personality and has a way of eclipsing everyone around her. Her husband is also very tall and incredibly attractive. which drew a lot of unwanted attention to her all anyone spoke about or of was anna's pregnancy and her attractive husband even in the line people were asking about the electric woman and of her pregnancy or marriage or about her life when they got up to dance all eyes were on them anna's friend ended up hooking up with my brother outing him as gay and causing a huge scandal I ended up leaving midway through the reception in tears and never attended the next morning's brunch. Anna and her entourage left early the next morning and also didn't attend. I can't even look at the pictures without crying and desperately want a do over. I am not a bridezilla but this was beyond the pale. It felt like a celebration of Anna's marriage. I am sorry but I put so much planning effort and money into this while someone that got pregnant without your thought and married as part of the moment reaped the benefits from me. I honestly feel like Anna owes me a wedding and did all of this as a revenge for me for offending her a year ago. Am I an idiot for thinking like this? My opinion about this issue is OP yes you are an idiot for thinking that your bridesmaid owes you for ruining your wedding it's not fair to blame someone else for stealing the spotlight on your big day it's understandable that you may feel disappointed that your wedding didn't go exactly as planned but it's not appropriate to expect someone to owe you your wedding for that your bridesmaid had every right to bring her husband as her plus one and to show off her pregnancy if she wanted to it's not her fault that people were more interested in her than in you furthermore it's not appropriate to assume that your bridesmaid was seeking revenge for something that happened years ago Weddings are special occasions but they are not about competing with others or seeking revenge. In it's important to focus on the love and commitment between you and your partner and to celebrate that with your loved ones. Now we will see what our friends thinking about this. Our friend once said, "You are an idiot. What the actual f? The only thing wrong your friend did was convince the other bridesmaid to invite her friend." But being angry at your bridesmaid for being pregnant is a very bridezilla thing to do and I can't understand how self-centered you have to be to not even realize that. Our friend too said, "You are an idiot. Are you actually serious? You can't selectively give plus ones to your bridal party. You think she got pregnant to ruin your wedding?" and you're bitter she married a tall and attractive man. Wow, that's just and it's not her fault and that the other plus one hooked up with your brother that situation sucks but it is not her problem story 2 in this story one person is asking us am i an idiot for calling my lawyer on his wedding day 
But as usual, before give our judgment, let's hear the story from his side. Let's call him Sam. I run your prop trading shop. Think buying and selling stocks. Sam's not your in-house counsel, but we called him in recently because we are undergoing a merger, and he is a merger's expert. Today was his wedding. Beforehand, I told him I'm still keeping him on call because something important might happen. But it's likely, and 99%, I would not be needing to call him. But it's unlikely, and 99%, I would not be needing to call him. And like I said, it was only 99%. Likely the day would go down with nothing important happening, but unfortunately that one percent of chance came through and we had an emergency. I won't get too much into the actual legal aspects of it, except just to say it was a really big emergency. So I called Sam. He was understandably pissed off at first. I still expected him to make some calls and talk to other companies we are merging with, but at first he refused. I told him I understood he was pissed off, but it is his job. He still refused to do that for me, and I told him I had let him go if he didn't get on the freaking phone with the other company right now. He was really angry, but did it and fixed the emergency. Later, I called him to tell him I was sorry for interrupting his wedding and that he did a great job. But when he picked up, he just called me a huge idiot. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I am, since I told him there would be a chance, however minuscule, of something going down, and just asked him to do the job. I am paying him to do. Am I an idiot for doing this? My opinion about this issue is yes, OP. You were an idiot in this situation. It was incredibly disrespectful and inappropriate for you to call your lawyer on his wedding day, especially after he explicitly told you he was not available. You should have made alternate arrangements or found someone else to handle the emergency. It was extremely selfish and showed a complete lack of respect for your lawyer's personal life. And it was extremely selfish and showed a complete lack of respect for your lawyer's personal life and important event. Your apology does not excuse your behavior in this situation. Now we will see what our friends think about this issue. Oh my God, this made me so angry. I am a lawyer, and I am 99% sure this was not an emergency. But just you freaking out on some stupid ship. There are some really thick clients who think that the world revolves around them, and any minor inconvenience is an emergency. Unless this was life and death situation, definitely you are an idiot in this situation, OP. Could change my mind if you provide information that this was your real life and death emergency. But I cannot imagine that it's a merger. Somebody is investing millions of dollars in a complex, multi-layered transaction, and they cannot wait for a single day. Come on, man. You were so rude. Our friend too said, "You are an idiot. I am a lawyer, so I am probably biased. But you are a huge idiot. I have never seen. You are the actual reason that we say not all money is good money. And I would have given you your back and dropped you as a client for sure. I have clients call at all types of inappropriate times. I was working a real estate deal while in labor, but this takes the whole damn cake." I'm hot just thinking about it. Story three. In this story, the another person is asking us, "Am I an idiot for hating my friend and refusing to help her because she's been lying to me and having the yes thing with her husband?" I have a young friend who has several tiny toddlers, including an infant, because I feel bad for her being stuck at home. Whenever she tells me she wants to go clothes shopping or furniture shopping, I occasionally babysit all of them. Even though they are so little, I'm well enough compensated for it, and I enjoy children, so I don't really mind it. However, I found out recently that even when she tells me she is going to a certain place, she has actually been going to her husband's work to make out have a thing with him there. When I ask her where all she went, because I'm curious about her shopping as a friend, she would outright lie to me like, "Oh, there was a lot of traffic. That's why it took so long." Or I actually spent a long time walking around in that store and looking at everything. <laughs> I don't mind that she feels a need to spend time with her husband, and I even babysat when they have gone out on dates late into the night. 
However, I feel extremely insulted and grossly taken advantage of because she has been so dishonest especially about the sexual stuffs. So I told her I won't babysit again without telling her the reason. I feel like she is using my time and energy of babysitting to be out and the least humanly decent thing would be to be honest if I ask how she spent that time or at least I had rather not let you know instead of full blown out lies should i not care so much would i be an idiot if i called her out on her actions directly my opinion about this issue is yes op you would be an idiot if you refused to help your friend and called her out on her actions directly without trying to have an open and honest conversation with her first while it's understandable you feel hurt and betrayed by her lying it's important to approach the situation with empathy and understanding It's possible that your friend is struggling with balancing her responsibilities as a parent and a spouse and she may not know how to communicate her needs effectively. Instead of jumping conclusions or making assumptions, try to have a non-judgmental conversation with her about what's going on and how you feel. Express your concerns in a calm and respectful manner and give her a chance to explain her side of the story. It's possible that she may have realized how her actions were affecting you or she may be dealing with some personal issues that that she needs help with. Ultimately, if you still feel uncomfortable babysitting for her after having a conversation, it's okay to set boundaries and say no. But it's important to communicate your reasons clearly and respectfully and not to use it as a way to punish or shame her. Now, we will see what our friends think about this issue. Our friend once said, You are an idiot. What she does with the time is not your business. If she is constantly going over the time, she said she would be back by and constantly inconveniencing you somehow or is complaining she doesn't have time to do the productive stuff and she would have or should have been doing because she is screwing her husband and is dragging you into that. Then then I had called her out on that. I don't see why details of her S life or your business. Our friend too said You are an idiot. Do you tell your babysitter every place you went? Who you talked to, screwed, doubtful? How is that your business or her responsibility to tell you? How weird. Plus, you are not doing her a favor if you are being compensated. You have no reason to feel put out if you offer and she accepts and pays you. If she was single, irresponsible and dropping her kids with you for free for Tinder hookups, I could see how you could feel that was unhealthy and want to know where she is going or not want to participate. But how do you feel entitled to knowledge of your married friend's S life? If they want to have sneaky interviews, why is that for you to know just because your friends you offered, she asked, she spent time free of her children. If I were her, I would feel very weirded out and distance myself blunt perspective.